Okay, before we start the gym, guys, this is the Touch 2201, and this is Leaf Green. Um, I'm going to do one last thing before we start the gym, so I'll see you back in Viridian City. Okay, guys, we're here. So, the thing I wanted to do before we started the gym off was go here. So, I'm not going to use Spiro. So, she, this little girl, she goes, Hi, do you have a Spiro? You want to trade it for my Farfetch? This is the only Farfetch you can get in the game, so I would suggest getting it if you want to get it dead on the Pokedex. So, I would trade this Spiro I am never going to use, named Tiny. And I like how it uses the DS thing, even though I'm not. I mean, not the DS, the uh, Advanced. Even though it's on my laptop, but still. So now we got Chiding the Farfetched. The only Farfetched in the game. If you wanted the data, I suggest you get it. And personally, I love Farfetched, so I was glad to do this trade. So she's like, Thank you! And Farfetched, or Chiding, is an adamant nature, which is really, 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 really good for a Farfetched. And it has its stick as a held item, which raises Farfetch's uh, critical hit ratio, which is great. So this was a good trade in my opinion. So I will see you back in the gym, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, here we go. We're in front of the gym, and let's just read this, just because it helps with the fame checker. The Tomboyish Mermaid. That sounds fun. And as this guy will tell you, the entire gym's of water type, so there's not much you need to know. SPLASH! I'm first up, let's do it. That's great. You didn't really have to yell splash, because you were coming out of the water, but still. Swimmer Lewis sent out Horsey. A uh, Horsey is really fast, really good in special attack. If you can find one, I would really recommend getting it. Because it is awesome. And I plan on keeping Chiding on the team until um, we find our next guys. Just because... Um, uh, I don't want to keep catching them and then putting them in the box, so it's just basically going to be a placeholder until um, I can get some more guys, basically. My members I plan on putting on the team. So basically, Horsey knows Bubble. Nothing really that intimidating. So Vine Whip will basically kill the Horsey and whoever and for a few shots. Sleepy grew to level 16, well, at least I think it evolves now, at least I'm pretty sure it does. If not, then I'm at least two levels off. So, I'll come to Shelter. Shelter and Cloister, it, they are both very much physically defensive. They are like the best physical water types, best physical defensive water types there are. And it has pretty good special attack, but it's slow, so basically... If you're looking for a bulky water type, Cloister is the one to go with. So, Twiggy learned Sleep Powder. Yay! That can help in the long run. That can't be. Yes, it can. Okay, yeah, I was right. What? Sleepy's evolving. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're done with that. And, bum, Come on now, hurry up. And we got a Kadabra! Yes, Sleepy has evolved into a Kadabra. One of the better special attackers and learns confusion. So now, there is no longer any reason to keep him in the front. So now I will train with him off screen, and then he will now be as strong as the rest. So when you get in front of Misty, her little lackey here was like, What? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. No, well, basically you suck. So, yeah, she'll stop you just like the other guy I did with Brock. So, she has a Goldeen. Um, pretty fast, decent in physical attack. So, yeah. And she uses, and it has Water Sport just in case you have a Fire type on the team. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, sneezed. Excuse me. Um, Nose Tail Whip, which further helps its, um, physical attack, which is really good. I think it knows Flail, I think. Okay, it knows Horn Attack, which is, with the defense lower, is too much for Twiggy. You know what, let's get Sleepy out there. Let's see what he can do. So, well, it's only got a little health left, so... Sleepy, Confusion! Yes, 
stat Goldeen. It's not like, and there's also one other trade I will be doing. You overwhelmed me. Alright, there's one other trade that I want to do before we, well actually, well I'll do that later when I can fly back and do some other stuff. Yeah, basically that'll be it. So I'll heal real quick. It shouldn't take me that long to take on Misty. And we didn't do too much time already. I think we're at like five, six minutes, maybe. So we got so we at least got a good five minutes. So we're good. So I don't I won't bother cutting out that part me healing. So okay. Then when you're done healing, you come back here and you talk to Misty. Hi, you're a new face. Only trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What's your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? It's a lot of good stuff. My policy is all out offensive with water type Pokemon. That is great. So, basically, here is Misty. She only has Staryu, which is really fast and really good at special attacks. So, you might want to put it to sleep first. It knows Harden. Um, let me see. It knows Harden... Crap, what is it though? Harden Water Pulse. I think it knows Minimize. And something else. Uh, come on, Twiggy. Really? Well, at least they're being stupid and using Harden various amounts of times. Thank you. Put it to sleep. These things aren't much of a threat. Let's hope it isn't much since they did Harden three times. As I said, they're really fast. Holy crap, Twiggy. Good job. Man, this gym might not be much of a problem, though. See, I told you. Um, if you have a grass Pokemon, it may be underleveled, but it will get the job done. Now out comes our Starmie, level 21, which basically has Swift, let me think, Swift, Water Pulse, Minimize, and Harden. At least that's what I think it said is. I haven't played this in a while, so I can't quite guess. But I know it has Water Pulse and Swift. Water Pulse, because that's the theme of the t uh, gym. Oh, of course. And now down goes Twiggy. Great. Starmie is very fast. It is very good in special attack. Um, it is a water psychic type. So this is more than enough opportunity to use Beedrill's new move that it, she learned. Uh, Twin Needle. So it's good, and it has a chance of poison. But I know Misty's not like Brock, and she will heal her guys when they're injured. So basically, when she goes to heal, just attack again. Starmie and Star, you don't have very good defenses. They're only meant for speed and attacking. Pretty, pretty decent special defense, but not nothing to brag about. So okay, guys, that was Misty for you. If you have a grass type and a bee drill or any kind of bug type, then you are pretty much good. So, alright, you can have this Cascade Badge show you beat me. Yes, and we get 2100. The Cascade Badge makes Pokemon level 30 obey you. It includes even outsiders you got in trades. Thank God. There was one, there's more. Now you can use move cut anytime, even after a battle. You can use cut down small trees, kind of basically explains itself. Then you get TM3, which is Water Pulse. So, alright guys, we beat Misty, and yeah, basically we beat Misty, so comment, rate, subscribe, see you guys again for Leaf Green. See ya. Done like dinner.